Good afternoon, everyone. Penny with FCSS and Amanda here to talk about uh, generosity and gratitude and how you can hmm, share, model, teach, incorporate those skills with your teams and tweens. So I'm going to pass the mic to Amanda. All right, thank you. Yeah, we figured because it's our last hashtag Teen Talk Tuesday of 2020 that we would end with on a happy note with generosity and gratitude. So a lot of times when we're busy in our lives and we're running around and we're doing all our things as parents and our kids are doing all the extracurricular activities and the homework and, and all of that, sometimes we forget about generosity and gratitude. Um, I was at a school the other day just talking about it and generosity really is what we can do for others right and so sharing a bit of us so whether that be you know something that we're skilled at whether that be time whether that be just us as a listening ear there's so many ways that we can be generous towards other people um, i love all the random acts of kindness stuff that you know people are doing everywhere and the support and whatnot all of those are really great pieces of being generous. We're in the holiday season, of course, and so I know a lot of people sometimes amp up their generosity, whether they're giving, you know, donating toys or helping in um, different food banks or shelters or whatnot. So those, those are all the great skills of being generous that we can be teaching our kids that, you know what, it's okay to give a little piece of ourselves um, to something that we're passionate about about that will help other people right and so even just sharing a smile sometimes is is what a person needs so yeah that kind of that's generosity and then when we look at generosity and we think okay well what else goes with generosity it's definitely gratitude right and so gratitude is what's coming in how we feel about what's going on in our world um you know one of the trendy words is mindfulness and it's an exceptional way to feel that that gratitude right just to be able to focus whether it's at the end of the day to be like oh these three things I'm grateful for that happened today or you know when you're talking to your kids and they're kind of settling down a little bit could be like what what are you grateful for today or what was the best thing that happened right and just really being able to send them off to bed in you know a, a grateful spirit is it's probably one of the biggest things that we can teach our kids, right? How to, how to show gratitude, how to be thankful for things. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't see that with teenagers, but as parents, we need to be able to put in those skills and, and talk about them, right? See, you know, if we're seeing our, our teen showing gratitude somehow, comment on that. Like, oh, that was awesome that you just said that to them or whatnot. So yeah, so generosity, gratitude, it's the holidays. Um, these are skills that we need to have. These are skills that we work with our, our tweens and teens every day. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, when you talked about, you know, thinking about things you're grateful for, what popped into my head was even tiny things. Because sometimes it's really hard to find something to be grateful for when you're looking at big, but when you look at tiny, and when you can actually give gratitude for something tiny, um, you can learn to enjoy um, an ordinary, more ordinary life, right? Um, because life isn't extraordinary for most people most of the time. So if you can start to be grateful for the ordinary, find those little joys, I think, for me and my family, that's important. Um, definitely, okay. definitely finding those little joys. And, you know, as parents, we can, we can show our gratitude to our kids without making a big deal about it as well, right? And so the more thank yous that they hear about specific skills that they're doing, you know, thanks for cleaning off the table when I didn't have to ask, you know, thanks for getting your homework done before you watched it. All of those things, not just thank, but all that gratitude if we're showing our kids that they're going to absorb it as well and they're gonna you know start utilizing it more and more yeah be what you want to see definitely all right well 
that, as Amanda said earlier, that is our last, this is our last Teen Tween Talk Tuesday for uh, 2020. We, however, will be back in January um, to bring you some great information and to continue to offer tidbits and tips and information on communicating and guiding your emerging adults in this world. So if you're celebrating, enjoy your holidays. If you're not, <clears throat> hopefully you'll enjoy some time off or some winter fun, who knows. Take care, everyone. Take care. We'll see you in the new year. <laughs>